Hello, this is Junhua from TCM Explained. We are continuing our topic on cough. We will go over four patterns of the internal damage. First pattern is phlegm dampness. Spleen transforms and transports body fluids. So when the function of the spleen goes down, fluid will stagnate and there will be phlegm dampness. As we know, the spleen is the producer of the phlegm and the lung is the container for the phlegm. So one of the manifestations of the phlegm is the sputum in the lungs. For this pattern, we see coughing accompanied by phlegm. The quality of the phlegm is wet with fluid and profuse in amount. Also, it's easy to cough it out. There may be chest distress because of blockage by the phlegm in the lungs. Phlegm dampness blocks the chi of the spleen for sure. We see greasy coating and soft or slippery pulse as a phlegm dampness sign. We can combine Er Cheng Ping Wei San and San Zi Yang Jin Tang. Er Cheng Ping Wei San is basically Er Cheng Tang with Ping Wei San. Er Cheng Tang is an exemplar formula that transforms phlegm. By adding Chang Zhu and Ho Po, we increase the action of drying dampness. Ho Po has a direct action of eliminating phlegm and it reduces a feeling of distress and distension as well. San Zi Yang Qin Tang is originally indicated for elders with spleen yang deficiency leading to food stagnation forming internal cold phlegm. Bai Jie Zi warms the lungs and resolves phlegm. Lai Fu Zi resolves the food stagnation and transforms phlegm. Zi Su Zi transforms phlegm and stops cough. These are good especially for the phlegm that is profuse, clear, thin, and watery. Next is phlegm heat. Phlegm dampness was more towards coldness. This time, phlegm is accompanied by heat. Cough sound is loud because heat is more young in nature. The color is more yellow and the phlegm is thicker because the heat has boiled off the fluid. We may also see other heat signs. For this pattern, we can consider Qing Jin Hua Tan Tang formula. This is for the fire in the lungs that dries up the fluids causing phlegm heat. Huang Qin, Zhi Zi, Zhi Mu, and Sang Bai Pi all clear heat, but they have their own special actions. Huang Qin works in the upper jaw, especially the lungs, and dries dampness. Zhi Zi works in the all three jaw and reduces irritability. Zhi Mu can moisten the lungs. And Sang Bai Pi can stop cough. The key point to remember when we treat the phlegm heat pattern is to be careful about using overly drying herbs. Since the patient is already showing heat signs and the herbs that transform phlegm is warm and drying, it may worsen the heat condition. So when we transform phlegm, we also clear heat and moisten the lungs. Gua Lo Zi and Zhe Bei Mu are the herbs that clear heat while transforming phlegm. We can understand them as less drying herbs that transform phlegm. Gua Lo Zi can moisten the lungs and Mai Dong nourishes the lung yin. These herbs don't have clearing heat action, but they are even in temperature and can transform phlegm as well. According to five elements, liver fire can attack the lungs. There are liver signs and heat signs. We can combine Huang Qin, Xie Bai San, and Dai Guo San. Huang Qin, Xie Bai San is Xie Bai San plus Huang Qin. We saw Huang Qin and Sang Bai Pi in the last formula. They clear the lung heat and stop cough. Di Gu Pi can clear the lung heat, but it also cools the blood. Since liver stores the blood, cooling the blood can sedate the liver fire. Qing Dai clears heat in the liver and lungs, and Hai Ge Chiao clears heat in the lungs. Last pattern is lung yin deficiency cough. The lung organ likes moisture and dislikes dryness. So the lung organ is susceptible to dry pathogen and yin deficiency. Here we see yin is deficient, meaning there is less moisture. 
Also, we may see general signs of yin deficiency heat. Our last formula for cough pattern is Sha Shen Mai Dong Tang. Sha Shen Mai Dong Yu Zhu tonify yin and generates fluids. Tian Hua Fen does not tonify yin, but it generates fluids and quenches thirst. We have seen Sang Ye in Sang Xing Tang formula for wind dryness pattern. It clears the heat in the lungs and moistens the dryness. And here we have Bai Bian Dou and Gan Chao. They tonify spleen and stomach to promote the production of fluids. At the same time, Bai Bian Dou has transforming dampness action. This pattern is about dryness. Why do we still add this herb to transform dampness? Since all the herbs in this formula is very yin tonifying, this herb is added to prevent any cloying or stagnation. That is all for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time.